Ever wonder how to customize text on Discord? Let me show you how, starting off with the bold text. So for bold, you're just gonna wanna put two asterisks, your message, and two more asterisks. Hit enter and your text will be bold. Now we're gonna do italic text. So for italic, just do an asterisk, put your message, and put one more asterisk at the end. Hit enter and you'll have italics font. Now to combine bold and italics, all you're gonna do is put three asterisks, your message, three more asterisks, and just hit enter. And it'll combine italic with bold. Next, I'm gonna show you guys underline text. For underline, just simply do two underscores, your message, and then two more underscores, and just hit enter. Now to do underlined italics, just simply do three underscores, your message, and three more underscores at the end. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do strike through text or just put a line through the middle of your text. So you're gonna to wanna to put two tildes. That is this symbol right here on your keyboard if you're wondering. Put your message. Put two more tildes at the end. Hit enter and you'll have a text with a line through it. Now to do a spoiler message where it's hidden until they click on it, you're gonna to wanna to start with two vertical lines located right here on the keyboard your message, and just simply two more vertical lines. Hit enter, and you, as you can see, the text is a spoiler, and when you click on it, it reveals what it is. Quick thing to mention with the spoiler as well, you can also do this with an image. You would just go and upload an image, and right before you send it, you'll see this modify attachment. Click on this, and you'll see marked as spoiler. Make sure that's checked, and just hit save. Then you can send it, and as you can see, it shows up as a spoiler, and you just click to reveal it. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the block text. All you're gonna do for this one is just a backwards tick, which is located right here. Put your message, and just finish it with another backwards tick. Hit enter and you'll have some block text. You can also do multi-line block text. To do this, all you're gonna do is do three backwards ticks. You're gonna wanna hit shift, enter. Put your message on the first line. Hit shift, enter again. You can hit shift, enter again if you want it to be three. And then when you're fully done, you're gonna do three more back ticks and just hit enter. As you can see, it makes a multi-line block text. Next, we have the block quotes. All you're gonna wanna do is the greater than symbol. Hit space and put your message. As you can see, you'll have a little quote line. So just like the multi-line block text, you can also do multi-line quotes. So to do this, you're gonna wanna do three greater than symbols. Hit space, put your word. Hit shift tab once again to the next line. And as you can see, it's that simple. You just keep going. And once you're finished, you just hit enter. Next, I'm gonna show you guys the invisible text. So for this one, all you're gonna to want to do is do an underscore, hit space, and do one more underscore. Now when you hit enter, it sends an invisible line. Now the final thing I'm gonna show you guys, if you put in the word video, comma, underscore, and hit enter, a video will pop up on your screen showing you Discord secrets. 